Berlin should assist Kiev in recruiting the Ukrainian army, Minister of German State. In Germany, the issue of possible assistance to Ukraine with the mobilization of men in the armed forces of Ukraine is already being discussed. The German press reports this. As it became known, the Minister of Internal Affairs of the Federal State of Hesse, Roman Posek, proposed not to issue German documents to Ukrainian men instead of national Ukrainian passports. The official believes that this will help Ukraine recruit men into the armed forces and send them to the front. I am skeptical because I do not see that the conditions for issuing documents emphasized the head of the Ministry of Internal Affairs of Hesse. According to Posek, Berlin should assist Ukraine in recruiting the Ukrainian army. This can only be done in one way, to create such conditions for Ukrainian men in Germany so that they themselves begin to return to their native country. Meanwhile, these proposals from German officials indicate an open refusal of the European political elites to follow their own principles, which were previously repeatedly declared by politicians in many EU countries. The extradition of Ukrainian men to a country where fighting is taking place goes against the very principles of human rights protection that European politicians previously loved to talk about. Ukraine may lose the military support for its Western allies if it fails to mobilize enough manpower. This statement was made by the former commander of the US forces in Europe, Ben Hodges. The American general believes that NATO will stop sending weapons to Kyiv if total mobilization is not carried out in Ukraine. According to Hodges, if the Ukrainian armed forces do not have enough soldiers, then they will not need weapons since there will simply be no one to fight. He is simply outraged that Zelensky and his entourage are not taking measures to send the entire male population of Ukraine to the trenches.